In this video, I will show you how to create and use triggers in MySQL. This uh, example, create trigger, user trigger. So the trigger name is called user trigger. Before insert on users for each row. Means this trigger will happen before when you insert on the users table for each row. You would, uh, the trigger event will happen. What's the action of this trigger? This trigger action is insert into trigger time values now. Trigger time is another table. So if you insert this, the trigger time table is value. This is the current time now. So whenever you insert on users table for each row, you will insert the you uh, trigger event. This event will insert into trigger time values, current time. So let's look at this uh, users table. I already create a users table. This is the two columns. One is the user ID. One is the salary here. The primary key is user ID. I also create another table called trigger time. This trigger time, I define this is the this time is day time. So this store for the uh, information. When this trigger this user event, I will store the time value in this trigger time. So let's first create this uh, user triggers in my SQL in PHP my admin. So in here, I create a trigger, user trigger. Then I click go here. So now I create a trigger. We can use show triggers to see the how many triggers we already created. It's identical to select from the information schema the triggers. This information schema is the general uh, database name. The triggers is the tables store here. So okay, let's go to PHP admin. So go to PHP admin. I paste show triggers. So let's go. You can see here. Trigger is named called user trigger. The event is insert into users. The statement is the insert into trigger time values now. So whenever you insert this user table, I will create uh, this will happen at the same time trigger event. This event insert into trigger time values. This timing before, just before. This is other values here. So let's go to this database. Database, you can see here, information schema. There's uh, one database name called information information schema. You create this information schema. Let's create these triggers. This is uh, under information schema. We're going to trigger these triggers. You can see here the detailed information. Is the trigger name, is user triggers, insert. You can see the detailed information in these triggers. So let's to see if this trigger is uh, working. So we insert users values to see if the trigger time insert this data at the same time. Okay, let's uh, insert this one users values. Insert a value here. Now we check the trigger time to see what's the anything happen. You can see here trigger time. Now insert a value here. It automatically trigger the event. Insert a value this timing here today. We can also drop trigger. Now we drop trigger. Now we show trigger again. Go. Uh, 